Hello and welcome to a trigonometry revision video on bearings. Just a couple of quick examples to remind you of bearings. Definition first, definition of a true bearing. Now a true bearing goes from north and it's measured clockwise all the time. Okay, a ship sails 30 degrees, 30 kilometers due east, then sails 27 kilometers due south. What's the bearing of the ship from its starting point? So if you want to pause the video now and draw a diagram, see if you can get a diagram there with a bit of a bearings indication on it, or at least a right angle triangle. Anyway, I'll show you my one. Here you go. So we've, uh, we've got a starting point there on which I've put a cross. It's any time you start or finish, it's good to put one of those crisscrosses on there because sometimes you need it for uh, bringing in the parallel line type rules, but still. So here's a starting point. We sailed 30 kilometers in the easterly direction, 27 kilometers due south. Now it's important that we go east and then due south because that creates a right angle triangle there. And that's the key to us using, uh, using either Pythagoras or sine, cos and tan, that sort of thing. What's the bearing of the ship from its starting point? So that's our starting point up here. Maybe S for start there. And so our ship is down here now. We want that bearing here that goes from north all the way around clockwise and to the red line. Now, to help us, we want to find that theta that I've drawn in ugly blue there. It's not The blue's not ugly, it's just my squiggle's not looking like a theta. But that's the angle we want to find. If we can find that angle, we could add it to 90 degrees to find the full bearing on that one. So how are we going to find that angle? We have an opposite and an adjacent, so have a think about your Sokotoa and figure out whether you're going to be using a sine, cos or tan sort of situation. I'm here to tell you it's tan, opposite and adjacent, so 27 over 30 is there. Now you're finding an angle, so it's going to be pressing shift tan 27 over 30 to find uh, the angle. So that angle is 41 degrees 59 minutes. Now that's not the bearing, that's just the blue squiggle. And so we're going to have to add the blue squiggle, the 41 degrees 59 minutes, to the 90 degrees that we need to go around from the bearing. So the bearing goes from north clockwise, so we've got 90, and the, the uh, angle we just found. So we add those two together. And we get 131 degrees, 59 minutes. That's the bearing around from north uh, to the direction that uh, the ship is now. Here's a diagram. Plane flies 52 kilometers on a bearing of 305. How far west is the plane from its starting point? We'll try and get a right angle triangle happening here. But I'll just, uh, I'm just going a little slower here so you can pause the video briefly and try and maybe get that diagram done. Um, but if you're not going to do that, I'll press on. And here's my diagram. We've got a crisscross here as a bit of a starting point, And I'll put in green here an indication of where 305 degrees is as a bearing. We've got 90 in there. We've got another 90 there, which is 180. We've got another 90 there, takes us up to 270. And then we've got 35 more. That's why I was able to put 35 in that triangle there. And it would be 55 to go before you get to um, 360 again all the way around. And so that's the bearing. That's like the direction that the plane is flying, this arrow here. And it's going 52 kilometers. So we can put that on that hypotenuse there. Now, we've got two sides of the triangle here. This horizontal bit is how far west it's gone from its starting point. And this vertical here is how far north it is now from its starting point. So it breaks the journey from the starting point to where it is now up into a kind of east-west component and a north-south component, depending on the direction. So if we find out D from here, and we have a right angle triangle, we have an angle and a hypotenuse here, so we've got everything we need really. We've got to figure out now, the next step is whether it's a sine, cos or tan question. And it's a cos because we have an adjacent and we have a hypotenuse. And so adjacent over hypotenuse is D over 52. That's how we piece together that. To get D on its own, we'll be multiplying both sides by 52. 
And your final answer is the plane is 42.6 kilometres west from its starting point. Uh, technically in a test, I would like to see if I was marking this, the uh, student write a sentence there, um, but I can't be bothered. <laughs> You'd say the plane is now 42.6 kilometres west of its starting point. So don't be lazy like me, write the sentence out. If you get asked the question in a sentence form, you should uh, answer in a sentence form just to be polite and to get more marks. <laughs> All right, thanks for listening. PeterBlakeMass.com. Catch you next time.